Hey there, it's Jiva. I'm here at Columns Trail in Bonita Springs, Florida. And I'm having kind of a self-care moment. So I thought I would share it with you. And also maybe chat a little bit about self-care and some different ideas about self-care. And maybe some of them will inspire you to do some self-care too. So here I am sitting on this bench in the middle of a preserve in Florida around 10 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. So let me show you what I'm looking at and then uh, share how it is that I'm sitting here at 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, so let me share this. I'm sitting next to a beautiful uh, kind of little waterfall. and a little pond. And over here is a trail that I was walking on. So I love to come walking in the woods and it's part of my self-care. So before the pandemic, I would go walking in the woods like once a week. And then during the pandemic, because it was so stressful and I needed uh, something to do and something to really just get out of the house. I started walking in the woods every other day. So that was part of my self-care and part of my uh, mental wellness. And um, now that the pandemic is supposedly partially over, um, whatever that means, um, I am still trying to there's there's a fish jumping next to us so how cool is that um i'm still trying to walk in the woods a couple times a week and you notice that it, i'm doing this at 10 a.m on a tuesday and i try to get out and do this first thing i try to kind of flip things up and change the priorities so that self-care becomes a priority and trying to do my priorities first. So that's why I'm here on a Tuesday morning. And you can see this beautiful breeze coming through. <laughs> um, so for me, self-care takes a lot of different forms. And I just wanted to mention a few of them. So self-care means taking care of my body and my mind. It also means uh, creating healthy boundaries with people. I consider that self-care. Um, creating healthy boundaries with myself. Um, making sure that when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Um, so I follow through on my own self-talk. Uh, and being here uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday is part of that. It's telling myself and showing myself that self-care is important. Uh, and I have arranged my schedule, my work day around this. And I'm well aware that not everybody can do this with uh, the different responsibilities and the different life choices. But if you have a value that you've identified and you hold on to that value and you try to incorporate that value into your life and arrange your life around it that's what makes it uh that's what makes it happen and it might not happen right away sometimes you might have to hold on to a value for a while and before you can actually make it happen but uh, if it is important to you, eventually, if you follow through on your self-talk to yourself, you will make it happen, whatever it is. If that's going to the gym or eating right or uh, getting enough sleep, you hold on to that value and make it, uh, start to make it a priority. You can make it happen, you will. Um, so yeah, for me, uh, 
good nutrition is part of self-care, relaxing, taking time to digest things. So, so many times in life, different things come up uh, and it's just like one thing after the other. And we don't, almost don't have a chance or don't take the time to slow down and digest what's happening. So for me, what that looks like is just slowing down and allowing the feelings to come, whatever around whatever situation it is, uh, allowing, you know, the thoughts to bubble up and to really dig into those thoughts and kind of question their validity or uh, feel, uh, feel whatever's going on. So to me, that's digesting what's going on. And that's a part of self-care too. Uh, so with this being in nature thing uh, for self-care, for me, it's so healing because the vibration of the earth and nature all around is so different. Um, the earth actually has a particular vibration. And when I can get my body to be in alignment with that vibration and just relax into it, it's so healing for me. So I've identified that that is uh, something that's important for me. So I'm curious what's important for you in your healing and your self-care. So drop some comments on this video and share so that we can all learn from each other. Um, oh, can you hear that bird? That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah, I love to kind of be immersed in it. And I like these, uh, these paths, you know, I'm showing you the path here that go through this, this walk, but sometimes I even like to go off the path and like really just kind of walk through nature and see how, um, how wild it is, see how an experience, like how tangled and and wild and complicated nature can be and how persistent nature is in, in healing. Sometimes you'll see like an area that maybe has been burned or maybe a tree fell down and, and you can see how nature just persists. It just uh, grows up and is vibrant and, and grows in different directions. And uh, it's, really inspiring to to me to remember that nature keeps going nature keeps going on um so really healing for me anyway this has been a moment a self-care moment and i am happy to be sharing it with you today so share your thoughts below tell me what you think I love this topic of self-care. I think it is super empowering because when we really take care of ourselves on a consistent basis, boy, can we manifest in the world, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day and week. And thank you for sharing this self-care moment. Bye.